Welcome to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 20, and verses 13 to 15 today. Then the owner of the vineyard said, What shall I do? I will send my beloved son. Probably they will respect him when they see him. But when the vine dressers saw him, they reasoned among themselves, saying, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, that the inheritance may be ours. So they cast him out of the vineyard and killed him. Therefore, what will the owner of the vineyard do to them? Jesus leaves that question hanging in the air, as we're in part two of three parts here on this parable. Therefore, what will he do to them? He's, he's inviting an answer. The people are listening. They're, they're, they're tuning in. They're tuning in. They're figuring it out. We're going to see tomorrow the conclusion. But look at this. Look at this. They didn't respect his own son. They said, let's kill him. That's the spirit of Antichrist. That's the spirit of devils. If we have any opportunity to kill Jesus, we're going to do it. That's the spirit of devils. And if there's anybody, what, what's, the, what's the replacement for that? How do you solve? What's the replacement there? Well, we may not be able to kill Jesus, but if we have any opportunity to disrespect his authority, we have any opportunity to operate against the kingdom of heaven, let's do it. And so they can do only what they can, and what they want to do is harm Jesus because they will not have this man to rule over them. And so they're going to, it's not going to help. When Jesus comes, they're revealing their true character. They are rebels. They are completely in opposition to the God who is love, which means that in rebellion, that means that they, they are, represent the opposite principle, the principle of hate, of non-love, of anti-love. Let's pray. Father in heaven, please be with us and help us to be love-like, not anti-love. Help us, Lord, to respond to Jesus. When God sends Jesus, what can we do? Uh, Father, help us to respond to Jesus. Oh, please, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friend, may God bless you today and keep you.